A new 7-Zip Archiver hack reveals a long-ignored Windows vulnerability. The latest version of 7-Zip contains a vulnerability, CVE-2022-29072, that lets hackers gain administrative privileges on a system. But this vulnerability, which exploits the 7-Zip help file, should alarm all Windows users as it highlights an age-old problem on Windows systems. As you may know, 7-Zip is an old piece of open source software. Its interface, buttons, and help menu haven't changed much since 1999. The help menu is especially nostalgic. It relies on a .chm help file, which is a relic from the days of Windows 98. These old .chm files are pretty versatile. When opened, they can display HTML and JavaScript, making them a solid option for ebooks, dictionaries, and other documentation. But they're also easily exploited, as they can run malicious code and effectively substitute for an executable. Now, to be clear, the 7-zip help file doesn't contain malware. But as Cajun Caper explains in the video accessible via the following link, hackers can use this file to execute malicious code on your system. Hackers with local or remote access to your computer can drag a .7z archive into the 7-zip help menu to open a command prompt with admin privileges. The command .exe prompt runs as a child process under 7zfm.exe, which is quite odd. A misconfiguration in the 7z.dll file and heap overflow appear to be responsible for this problem. Normally, dragging a file into the 7zip help menu should do nothing. I should note that a similar problem recently affected WinRAR, another archiving tool. Realistically, the average person won't be affected by this exploit. It requires local or remote access to your computer, and if a hacker manages to get that far, then you're already screwed. If you're worried about this vulnerability, you can simply delete 7zip.chm. It should be under C Program Files 7zip or C Program Files x86. 7-zip, depending on whether you use a 64-bit or a 32-bit version. Note that this problem only seems to affect the latest version of 7-zip, version 21.07. This update launched in December of 2021, and 7-zip hasn't confirmed plans to patch the problem. Microsoft needs to address old help files. By default, Windows tries to open .chm files in the old HTML helper, also called hh.exe. This viewer executes HTML and JavaScript and provides very little protection from exploits. Hackers are known to use .chm files to run malicious code in HTML helper, usually through phishing schemes. Microsoft has made some lightweight attempts to fight this problem. Outlook no longer opens .chm files, and many .chm files are automatically blocked from running in Windows. But as we see with today's news, HTM helper and .chm files present an ongoing security risk for Windows PCs. You could blame 7-Zip for leaving bugs in its software, but realistically speaking, a misconfigured DLL file shouldn't let hackers run malicious code on your computer. The problem lies with Microsoft and its HTM helper software. You'll find Andrew Heintzman's excellent article on this topic at the following link. If you're running the latest version of 7-Zip, play it safe and delete the .chm file. This vulnerability currently only affects 7-zip version 21.07. I personally have used 7-zip for many years and have never opened the help file in all those years. If you really need help in 7-zip, you can always find it online. 
Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.